So recently I took this AWS solution architect certification and I passed it and many people are thinking about the same and you must be one of them too otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So I wanted to actually give you some tips and tricks in this video to pass the certification on your first attempt. So I did a little bit of research and I found some frequently asked questions around this topic and I'm going to go through these questions one by one and answer them for you. Okay, the first question is, should you have any prior experience before you go and do the certification? Well, my answer is no. I do have a little bit of experience working with AWS like uh, EC2 instances, but I don't believe that's actually necessary. If you do have like some experience and you do your preparation, then it's good. Like the exam will be a little bit easier for you actually. So I don't think you need to have any prior experience. The second question is how long do you need to prepare before you do the certification? Well, that depends on how much time you have. I've seen people, you know, just prepare for two weeks and then do the certification. And I've seen people take three, four months uh, to prepare, but it, it all depends on how much time you have basically. Uh, in my case, I took about two months and I spent maybe an hour uh, on some days and some days I wouldn't study and some days I would like study for two hours. So, but I, I thought like that two months was a pretty good time, uh, you know, that gave me enough time to prepare. Okay, the third question is like which courses did I take or what kind of resources did I use to prepare for the certification? So the first course that I took is uh, this course by Ryan Kroonberg and by this time like uh, most people know of him already so if you don't know so he has this course on Udemy uh, for the certification and uh, yeah so he's from uh, a cloud guru that's his company and it's a pretty good course I spent about a month just watching those videos and taking a lot of notes and like learning slowly. But what really helped me was this other course or other practice questions basically I bought from this website called Wiz Labs. And, and that was actually like even more helpful. What I mean by that is actually, so they give you a bunch of practice questions and then you can take the practice exam. And after going through the exam, you can go back and look at the explanations that they provide for each and every question. And they also provide like documentation links and uh, it was so good actually. So that uh, was what I did for like pretty much like three to four weeks uh, before I took the exam. So Wiz Labs and the first course I as I mentioned is Ryan Kroonberg's course. So having gone through the experience, right? So what, if I had to go back and start over, what would I do, right? So as I said, like I took this Ryan Kroonberg's course and then Wiz Labs, what I would do now, right? I would basically uh, start with the practice questions right away. And I would like answer a practice question and then go and like learn about the topics which are related to that question. And then I can come back and do some practice questions and then learn whatever is needed. So in, that's what I did for like last one month, right? Uh, and that turned out to be like a very good way to prepare for the exam. Okay. Another resource that I used was this app called Anki app. So that's A-N-K-I app. Anki app is basically like a digital flashcard study method. Uh, it it basically provides you a bunch of flashcards and you can put the topic name on one side and then some definition or any related points on the other side. And then you can keep adding flashcards to this Anki app. And after a while, when you review, Anki app will randomly uh, show you flashcards and then you can try to remember what that topic is about or try to recollect like what, uh, what points are related to that topic. So I did that for a while and that helped me to remember a lot of these facts actually because it's just a lot of information that I had to remember. Another course which is created by Stephen Marek and that's also available on Udemy uh, is 
basically a really good course. I see a lot of my friends taking that course and they've given good reviews about it. And, and don't worry about taking notes. I will leave uh, the links to all these resources in my description. Yeah, and apart from that, there is another website called Tutorials Dojo. And they also have a similar product to the one that uh, I mentioned before, like practice questions and explanations. Uh, yeah, do check them out.